How's it going everybody? Patrick with Pacific Northwesting here. I've cut the sleeves off my Superman shirt, so you know what that means. The weather's nice and we've got some yard work to do. So join me as we do a little cleaning up, a little adjusting and uh, show off my $8 lawnmower. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. There's a little announcement after the video. So the Ryobi that I normally use, um, it's a battery operated 40 volt Ryobi mower and weed eater combo. Still in Idaho. Yeah, yeah, still in Idaho. So um, I got on Facebook Marketplace and I found this. This little thing here. Nothing crazy, right? It's got a Briggs and Stratton on it, so you can't, you can't complain too much. The dogs, look at this jungle. Jeez, got to mow all that. Sorry, off topic. Anyways, um, that was being given away on Facebook Marketplace. So I picked it up, took it home, put some fresh gas in it, checked the spark plug. Spark plug looked good. Checked the air filter. <laughs> air filter looked like a black brick of poop. I don't even know what to call it. It was just nasty. Um, so I took that out, started right up. So I went down to the convenience store. The convenience store? I didn't go to a convenience store. Anyways, I went down to the local hardware store and uh, picked up an $8 air filter, threw it in there. Now I've got myself a mower. So uh, until I get to Idaho to get the rest of our equipment, this is gonna work for now. But this is what I'm, I'm working with here. So this is our property as it is. The driveway heading up to the uh, main road. And then on this side here, we've got the runoff and everything. So I gotta mow that, mow along the house. I gotta do something about all this stuff in the front right here. Mess of, of crap. And uh, yeah, mow all this. Just get it all cleaned up. Cause it's looking shaggy. It's looking rough. This also is kind of your first tour of our property um so we'll kind of scope it out here so this wall right here this this is this area it's got to be packed back in with dirt it's like eroding away and obviously that's where the driveway is up there so we've got to do something about that so we're going to end up packing this full of dirt trying to bring it out to about here in more of a rounded fashion just to give it a little more uh a little more oomph a little more backbone and then up there you'll see the birch trees go along the driveway. That's why I bought the chainsaw, because we're going to be removing those, cleaning that up. Just because they, they, they cause a hazard. They fall down, block the driveway, cause all kinds of problems. And then back over here, kind of the corner of our property. And this is where we have an issue. So our septic system runs over here underneath this crazy wicked willow tree and long story short um, when we moved in here it was considered rainy season so our septic has an issue needs to be replaced anyways we've already got that all covered but now they can finally come in and do some work on it so I'm gonna be cleaning up underneath this willow tree making it to where they can come work on it replace our septic and then we can really get over here and start rebuilding this section of the yard Now you come over to this side. This is kind of where you start getting some access down to the goalie down there, which I have not been down there. We will take you all on a tour. My first adventure down there, I'll take you with me. Trust me. Um, this is where there is a retaining wall. You can kind of see it runs from that tree all the way here. Well, that retaining wall is tipping forward into the goalie over there. So I'm not sure how we're going to handle that. Um, probably going to have to have a professional come check that out. But I mean, that's what professionals are for, right? They have, they have to have things to profession about. So come profession about my freaking retaining wall and see if we can fix that, huh? 
So anyways, we're gonna be cleaning this all up with the mower today. And you can see kind of like the yard has started to <laughs> fall in. Anyway, it's not, it's not really that big of a deal over here because we're just gonna lose, if it falls, we lose a little bit of, of yard probably. But uh, this is where it causes a problem and this is where things get weird. So as you recall, when I bought the place, obviously the freaking leak I was dealing with, um, we had some erosion issues over here. Like this is the corner of my house. This is my goalie. Like, that just runs down into there. I don't even know what they did back here. Look at this. Freaking dude. Previous owners of this house, they're creative for sure. For sure, for sure. But uh, this is the goalie, and this is also a place where we need to start adding more land like immediately. Because as you see, it's starting to come down too. And that's just gonna cause more problems, especially <laughs> with the house right there. And then you come around the back side of the house, neighbor's fence, we share a driveway. This back here, we haven't really touched any of this. A little storage area back here, which is nice. That back door, that back door. It's the back door in my bathroom. Like what, are you just taking a shower and decide you need to step outside, have a cigarette, something? Anyways, definitely a unique build. And then you can see up top, some sort of like that skylight thing up there. That's definitely interesting. Then absolutely no windows here. Just one down there in the laundry room. The rest of this is all just like a Minecraft house is what it reminds me of right here. These orange these orange things were here when we bought the house. They're stupid. I don't know why they're there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the quick walk around tour of everything. Um, I'm gonna get some mowing done, get some things cleaned up and we'll talk after that. It's day two of outdoor cleanup. Um, we've, we've got sleeves today because I may have gotten a little burnt yesterday. <laughs> got a little cocky about it. And uh, yeah, so we're wearing sleeves today, but look at this yard. Don't look at that part of the yard. I couldn't weed eat that, but like, oh, we cleaned her up a little bit there. Cleaned her up a little bit. So now that we have a working lawnmower, no weed eater, keep the old lawn looking a little better. Hopefully we don't uh, gross the neighbors out with long shaggy yard again. And now I can start working on the foil foliage, foliage, the plants that are growing around the front of the house. So all along the front of the house here, we have just it's, it's a mess, obviously. Partially my fault. There's my stuff. There's some stuff there. In a box. A box in a crate I need to get rid of. But, uh... We just have all this crap in front of our house that we do not need. I feel like it, it's going to cause more problems than it's worth having. So, all this stuff has to come up. Got to clean all this out. And we'll see where that takes us. In the meantime, however, I want to thank everybody for helping us get to 200 subs. We just hit 200 subs at the time I was making this video. So freaking thank you. Like, it means so much to me. Um, you know, the fact that there's 200 people out there willing to, to subscribe subscribe to this channel and pay attention to our silly act, antics and, and just our life. So you guys are the real MVPs. I appreciate y'all. And um, yeah, we got, a, we got a little announcement. Got a little announcement too. So uh, don't think I forgot about that. I'll get to that at the end of the video. Don't worry, don't worry. Also, my, my buddy Perry hates it when I just walk around in these vlogs and just talk. Sorry, Perry. It's a vlog, bro. Just, it's, it is what it is. Still love you though. So I think we're gonna start at the front door and work our way towards the goalie. They're working all this stuff out. Boop, boop, boop. Pulling up all the stones, getting all the 
crap cleaned up through here. Make a dump run. Get rid of that door. What, what, what even is this? What a, is this a witch's brew? We're making a witch's brew out here now? Jeez, oh Pete. Anyways, that's where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get on that. Um, and I will talk to you afterwards because like I said, big announcement, something really cool. Suspenseful. All right, that's a day for me. Uh, Laura Lee's home. It's time to start getting ready for dinner and uh, planning for her birthday adventure tomorrow. Um, we'll have a video coming out, kind of updating y'all on, on the progress we're gonna make with all the cleanup around the house on the outside, get everything prepped for whatever we're doing out here. I don't even know anymore. And uh, we're gonna go down to the goalie. Next outside video, we're gonna go down, down to the goalie. So that should be fun. Also, a couple things you hear me talking about earlier in the video. Big surprise, big announcement, things like that. Um, one of them is that we are launching a community Discord server. It's gonna be a place where we can just like hang out, chit chat, learn from each other, share knowledge, whatever it may be. Um, you'll be able to find the description for that in the link. The link, <laughs> let me try that again. You'll be able to find the link to that in the description below. Uh, we'd love to have you join either to learn, share the knowledge, or just hang out. Check it out, it'll be pretty cool. And also, since we did just hit 200 subs, I don't know why I showed five figures. This is kind of day I've been having. Um, we did hit 200 subs, and now we go to make that push to 1,000 subs. That's, that's like the end goal, or the main, I guess, not the end goal. That's like our first big goal, hit 1,000 subs. So we're gonna be working on that. But with that, it's gonna come an awesome, awesome prize for people. We're gonna be doing a little giveaway when we hit a thousand subs. So until then, I'm just gonna be stacking up goods, stacking up local goodies, gift cards, items, things like that. And um, yeah, someone's gonna walk away with a big Oregon Coast care package um, for the thousand sub giveaway. So. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can get that going. There'll be more details in a future video. And uh, until then, I appreciate y'all watching. Stay blessed.